Hello, Kelly Lee here at Root Pursuit, professional genealogist and founder, and also we are crafting today. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So today I guess we're kind of talking more about crafts than, than doing crafts. <laughs> um, so basically I have decided to start a new, um, a new journal, a uh, keepsake heritage album. And I have, um, this is, well, let me just say that this is the book it's, um, that I'm going to use. It's, it's really, um, sturdy. It's in good condition. It's, um, National Geographic book. Let's just look at the, um, at the copyright, just curiosities sake. Why don't I see the copyright date? 1992. All right, there it is, 1992. Okay, so it's not too old. It's got a lot of neat pictures in it um, that will um, create nice backgrounds. And so, yeah, this, this will be a really good um, option for an altered book. And I have chosen for the... Um, what do you call it? My person, because I'm I'm super excited to do a book that's actually about one of my ancestors. the The first one that I did was just about, um, just a general one that could be used for any ancestor, and this one is going to be used for, um, Sarah Ellen, and I'm hoping I can find her picture. Um, here it is. Okay. So, um, this is her. This is the only picture that we have of Sarah Ellen. Um, I don't know if you can see her. And that's her right there. Um, she died young. She only had, I believe, one child. And this book, this album, is dated, hmm, must be 1870-ish, um, this picture in the front is probably more like 1870s based on the style of the clothing and the hairstyles, I'm guessing. Um, I could probably get a closer date based on the ages of the people that are in here, but there's just, oh, it's a beautiful book. I mean, it's look at the cover. It's got this beautiful um, decoration. I don't know if this is like glass. I think it's like a porcelain, little button things. And here's the binding and the back and it's got the gold. And then this really pretty hook, latch lever. So you can kind of see that, it's just beautiful. And um, William, the, the uh, person who is in this book, it was his, so this is a picture of his mother and her sister. Um, I believe this is Eliza and Becca. And uh, then just everyone that listed, like this says brother's oldest child. So everything is from his point of view. And that was William Hayes. So this says photographer Rockville, in Rockville Indiana. Um, I can't really read that. But anyway, this is him. Um, William Perry Hayes. So this is his brother, Josiah, and his sister, Sarah Ellen. So they had kind of a small family, too. Um, but that is the only picture of Sarah Ellen. And then as we go through, it's just a number of their, their ancestors. This is Sarah Ellen's um, only daughter, Maddie. And Wesley Vaught, which is one of my direct ancestors. There's quite a few pictures of him. Um, he served in the Civil War. And this is Matilda Vaught. And she has this lovely fan in the image. Hope you can see that. There's not too much of a glare there. There we go. All right. And another.
another aunt. This is Lisi. So just um, some friends. This picture is kind of crumbling. Betty Smith, Mrs. Bobbitt and Betty Smith. So not really sure what the story is there. A woman holding someone else's child. So uh, who knows, maybe the mother died or something. Or it was her granddaughter, who knows. And this is also uh, Sarah Ellen's daughter, Maddie. And so I have lots of good pictures from this time period. So I'm excited to use this stuff and, and create a book. Um, I'm just gonna make photocopies of the, the pictures and leave this um, album uh, basically intact. As you can see, oh, there's like a little, I don't know if you can see this, I never noticed it before. A little like a mini ticking fabric that was um, part of the binding for this book and it's wraps under there like that and the color is actually really um, still pretty vibrant from being 18 I believe it's like 1860 1870 80 1880 era somewhere in there so there's one, and then he had um, another book, I believe. That's another picture of Maddie and a friend. It says Maddie Barron in Rockville, Indiana Street Fair in 1901. So most of the family was from, there's another picture of his mother and a tin type. I'm not sure who those are. And um, James Hayes. Aunt Becca. And so lots of good pictures. Um, Smith family. Brothers, oldest child. It's Thomas Pascal. I wish I could identify some of these people, but it just says German girl and German girl. I don't know if that's a last name or somebody took a picture of a German girl. I don't know. That's very odd to me. And these have never, these were like taped in. So, oh, and there's a third German girl. Levi Gillian. So I just wanted to show you that. I believe the rest is blank. But it's kind of a neat story. The original, whoop, the original class for this is not with it anymore and this one not quite as good shape as the other one or high quality I should say but anyway okay so those are gonna be fun we've got our picture of, of Sarah Ellen to inspire us and this is the book that we're gonna use so the first step is coming up with a covering um, for this part I think just covering um, maybe like a small section on either side and then perhaps leaving the rest of it as is because it I mean this looks pretty this is a kind of a neat a neat cover so then the, the option is do we cover it with fabric or do we cover it with paper so um, I personally think fabric is going to be a better option so that's probably what I'm gonna do. A couple of fabrics. I don't know if I like that as a choice, but some options to think about. I think probably something a little more sturdy is what I'm thinking. Something a little more that'll hold up. All right, so we're gonna think about that. And I don't know what this is. I guess I could leave that in there. I'm probably gonna cover that up. This paper is kind of nice. Two-sided right off the bat. I got these, um, what are they? 
I'm really excited about these. These are called Muncie's Magazines. Um, Muncie's Magazine advertising section. This was March of 1898 or 1896, somewhere in that region. And they just have amazing um, advertisement images in them. So that'll be fun to use. The beginning part has some images and like articles, stories, which you would expect from a magazine. And then some neat pictures. Um, like a socialite image of, of um, popular socialites. In this was, the, let's see, this was published by Frank Muncie, who, and the business was on Fifth Avenue in New York. But, yeah. So lots of neat images. We've got Qu Quaker Oats. And royal baking powder. So lots of cool images that we can possibly use from around that time period. So I'm excited about using some of those. Um, I did make a photocopy of one um, advertisement, which is this right here. And it's basically an advertisement for um, Rocky Mountains takes the Rock Island route. Um, the only direct line, so it's basically taking this trolley on the train tax for a tourist, you know, um, a tourist trip um, to Colorado Springs, Cripple Creek, Manitou, and Pikes Peak in the Rocky Mountains. So it's kind of a neat little advertisement. So that'll be a neat thing to just kind of tuck into a pocket, have an interesting read for, you know, the 18, this would have been whatever that is, 1898, 1896 time period. So that, that's really neat. And we've got this book as a backdrop for some neat images. So I'm really excited to get started. Um, if you let's see let's let's take another look at some of these um advertisements in the muncie's magazine this one is please try cascarets candy cathartic they work while you sleep 10 cents 25 cents 15 cents 50 cents um rheumatism can be cured permanently a genuine farina cologne Hudnut's Perfume Tablets. <laughs> Will answer every perfume purpose. Money refunded if not entirely satisfactory. Each package contains 12 large tablets of any one of the following. Imperial Violets, Sweet Verbena, Jack's Roses, and then a bunch of others. Um, I don't know what that means. Perfume Tablets. Hmm. <laughs> Um, St. Raphael Wine, to it I owe my health. This is a tonic wine and has more sustaining qualities than any tonic co concoction on the market. Don't forget, it is a pure wine and so certified by the U.S. government. <laughs> oh dear, are you too fat? Well, Reverend Charles Budlong can help you out. Several years ago, I was induced to take the treatment of you to reduce my weight, which at that time was excessively large. I was most agreeably surprised at the result. In three months' time from first beginning the treatment, I lost 42 pounds and felt in every sense much better. All right. Our 30-day offer, $1 for 30 days to introduce, we will ship as well a 98 model wheel to anyone. See, oh, it's a bicycle. All right, you can see that tiny little picture of that guy on a bicycle, or leaning on a bicycle, I should say. So much fun. Okay, let's see what else we've got. These are just fascinating. William's Jersey Cream Toilet Soap is fully up to the high standards maintained 
for over half a century by William's famous shaving soap, medicated soap. Well, she looks pretty happy, so there you go. Let's see, we've got, oh, a new idea in trunks. So it's got like a mirror and some drawers. The Stalman dresser trunk represents a new idea in trunks. It is portable dressing case with drawers instead of trays, a place for everything from a hat to a collar button. And the bottom is accessible, is as accessible as the top. Cost no more than a good box trunk. Shipped COD. Turkish baths. Oh my. Okay, you have to see the image on this. All right, look at this. And you can see the trunk too up close, but Turkish baths. What is that contraption? Huh. That's neat. Okay, Thomas and Miller. So we've got headstones, monuments. What else do we have here? Prudential. It's amazing. Some of these companies have been around so long. In 1890. 1897, assets increased to 23 million. Okay, we got a junior Quaker kitchen cabinet. So these kind of tilt downward. <laughs> Superfluous hair removed. Hmm. Nearly 100 selection from the works of Wagner. Princess Aileon, $75. Other styles up to $750. Oh, so they sell come, some kind of furniture. Is it an organ? Yeah, I, Aileon pipe organs. Hmm. Interesting. And this is Frank Muncy. So he's the, um, this is the address for the this magazine. So that's interesting. The Puritan has never resorted to any other means of merit circulation. We give no inducements. We give simply the publication itself. We know of no sure way to win a circulation for publication than to give people what they want. It is the policy that given Muncie's magazine its tremendous circulation, it is the policy that the, that governs us with all of our publications in how many times can they say publications and publishing? Oh my goodness. Anyway, all right. Oh my gosh, look at this little person. OH extract of malt. Malt extract. It builds up the weak as compound, interacts, and builds up the bank account. Hmm. I don't understand that. If your druggist or grocer does not sell extract, Oh, yeah, a lot of these say that, then, you know, send them a little thing. Quaker, 25 cent cloth books. Oh my goodness. Superfluous hair on the face. Stella is so infinitely superior to any other disc music box as to be in a class by itself. Sweetest tone, best quality. Plays any number of tunes from smooth metallic sheets, no pins or projections to break off ideal boxes. J. Cotton Sun. <laughs> okay. Sash balance. The lost cord, no cord used. A perfect substitute for weights and cords for balancing wind, a window sash. Huh. Okay. Fly time coming. With screen doors hung, the incessant slamming begins. Cald Caldwell screen door check prevents the slam. <laughs> Indigestion has no terrors for him. The salt shaker is filled with pep salt. All right, I gotta stop saying every time. <laughs> Dr. Raub's egg white soap, Woodbury's facial soap, facial cream, facial powder, and dental cream. Personal magnetism, the keynote of success. 
A revelation to the human race inspires and encourages every human being, regardless of age, sex, or condition, who desire to elevate themselves and to make the most of natural endowments. Helps everyone, antagonizes no one. <laughs> That's funny. Antagonizes no one. All right, on that note, I think I'm just going to do a quick run through. Ooh. Evolution of typewriters. All right. I could spend hours doing this. Standard Pittsburgh Stogies. The Red Seal Library. Now this is neat. It lists the, the books that were popular that year. It would be fun to just kind of go back and read some of these, you know, non-classics, but just ones that were just talk about a typical day in the life that would be really interesting but maybe they don't talk about that the story of an African farm hmm. all right okay neat image flower seeds little floral border that could be fun to use in the book all right, and Uncle Sam holding a bottle of rye. <laughs> Bottled in bond. Wait, where does that say? I have to go back. Peoria, Illinois. Springfield, Ohio. Rochester, New York. I'm just kind of looking at where all these places are. Boston, Mass. New York, Dansville, New York, Chicago, Troy, New York, Springfield, Ohio, Philadelphia, Painesville, Ohio, Springfield. Hm. All right. Okay. That's enough. Interesting. Very good. Good stuff. All right. So now I'm going to go and look for some kind of a cover to put on here. And I'm going to put that on and then I can get started with adding um, Sarah Ellen's life to this book. All right, here we go. Talk to you later.